Hello everybody, welcome back to the Kobo Space Program. So today we're going to be making a Reliant Robin Space Shuttle, which was actually featured on a pretty popular TV show known as Top Gear. Now, in simple terms, this Space Shuttle that we are making is actually it's pretty much a miniature version of the real Space Shuttle that you would have at NASA. So it's quite a small one, but it's cool looking. And... Part of the design, I did have many problems as, as you would when making a space shuttle, but uh, I did get through all the problems. So what we're doing here is first of all making, figuring out how to attach the boosters in the correct position of course, and this, this is pretty much the first stage that I decided to do, basically just designing the, the main stage, and then I would be working with the attachment, also known as the, the actual shuttle that would have to be a little bit smaller than these boosters that we have here. And this was just me just testing out to see if this would actually lift off, and it does, luckily. Yes, because the engines that we're using now on this very thing is not exactly powerful, so I wasn't too sure whether that were actually gonna lift it up. So this is the, the shuttle that we're making now. I, it's sort of got a car type look to it uh, in the actual image that I showed you earlier on in this episode. So, and since it is sort of like a car, I figure, you know, why don't we have passengers? So the passengers in this case would be the Kerbals. And I'm trying to figure out exactly where to place them. Like as of now, there isn't really isn't very much room for the Kerbals to go and, you know, sit down on a seat. So we have to work through that. And it's all, of course, it's going to be small. As I mentioned, it has to be smaller than the booster. That's why I have that, that booster right next to it so I can compare with the length. It's a good thing I had that. That's quite useful. Mm -hmm. And I did mention, I mentioned uh, last, last, I think it was last episode or maybe before that. I mentioned I was working on a, playing another game known as Sins of the Solar Empire. I've been playing that. I've been working on it. It's a little bit difficult at times. I'm just trying to get a good good episode so yeah i've been playing for quite a few hours as of as of now and someone on youtube asked how i went in my exams i did well in my exams i think except for one which was a programming one we're doing javascript I've never done programming before so it can be a little bit difficult as some of you programmers may know <laughs> and have a look at that you see the attachment how the the nose cone right there is actually overlapping apart I'm surprised that actually didn't cause any problems because it works perfectly fine. You know, I didn't even think about that when I launched launched this for the very first time. So very, very lucky. Okay. Nice. All right. <laughs> Seems as though I, I paused a little bit when I was playing. And immediately, it looks like it's pretty decent, right? This is how a space shuttle would work. It's sort of a bit of, be on a bit of an angle, as you can see. And this is like, this is basically me testing again. So as I mentioned, this is a vehicle, so it's going to have Kerbals in it. So I decided to add these things. And so this is how you get the Kerbal into the flying machine. Basically do that, go inside, and it's a little bit hard to see, but there's, there's a total of four seats on this shuttle. So that's four Kerbals. That, and that includes the cockpit as well, which is a total of five Kerbals on this thing. A decent amount, although we don't really need that many Kerbals. It's, it's just there for looks, right? Aesthetics. Although it's sort of hard to see the Kerbals when they're inside. We don't exactly have any glass in this game, except for in mods. There is a, a, a mod that has the glass, and I've looked at that. It was a pretty interesting mod. Might have to try that one day. And the next mod that I'll be trying is a... It's a robotics mod. It's not called robotics, but it's called it's got another name to it, but... It's basically robotics. I'll be playing that soon. So yeah, beware. Okay. And as you can see, the space shuttle is doing okay. Uh, again, there are many problems. Uh, as you can tell, you know, you use up a certain amount of fuel and then the position of this entire thing just changes. Uh, it's changing right now and you press space bar then that moves. So all you have to do really is just press spacebar at this point and it's, it sort of settles itself. 
And as it goes to a high high altitude, like around about here, it starts to have a few problems. But I sort of worked through it. And every time I tried, I, I couldn't actually get it, but I always end up having some fuel remaining in that jumbo, jumbo fuel tank. So don't be worried if there is remaining fuel. So look at that, that's how much fuel I had remaining. And as I throttled up, you can see that it's it's changed, it's moving a little bit too much. It's causing problems. And as I, as I throttled up, it's not very good. So yeah, don't worry if there's a bit of remaining fuel. Just just press space bar and just get rid of that jumbo fuel tank. Uh, by the time you get into space, you do have enough fuel to be able to get an orbit. And this is a pretty bad orbit that I did here. Although again, I had enough fuel to fix that. And with the shuttle, make sure you press space, um, no, no, press number one on your keyboard to turn off some of the rocket engines I have. Make sure you do that because I have some rocket engines to ensure that the shuttle and the other booster would actually, wouldn't flip around some non-stop. Okay, very nice. And I quite like the design in the end. It's small, again, it's a miniature version. Looks looks interesting. This thing flies okay by itself. The first time I tried it, I, it, did, it did need a few struts. And now we are, of course, returning... Returning to Kerbin, gonna say hi to the space center. <laughs> Almost there. Again, we're time warping and stuff every now and then. Guess Daimler takes a while, sort of ran out of fuel. Alright, guys, I know this has been a short episode. I do hope you enjoyed it. Links in the description for you to download, try this out, do whatever you want with this thing. <laughs> See you later, guys. <laughs>